Hi guys, it's a really, it's really a little bit too early for me to be doing this, but seeing that I'm all alone in the house and I've got as much privacy as I could wish, then here I am. I haven't, I haven't made up yet, it's 10am, it's a bit too early, as I said, and um, I'll be going off to work in a few hours, so I don't know, I'd probably be editing this by tonight. As I promised, British accent, forgive a few mistakes because I haven't really had much practice in a while. The only time I really get to do is when I'm reading Harry Potter books. And I didn't bring any with me here to the United States, so that's a bit sad. I just finished assembling my three pieces of furniture. There's the loft, which is like a bunk bed, only the bottom portion is hollow for workstation. I'll give it to you later. And there was my drawers. Quite a heavy thing, really. But it was fun to make. And then last night in East Bank Fria, I finished my, how do you call it, the desk and bookcase combo. The gift from Homer, to my friend. So I finished reading Twilight, like, I don't know, a long time ago. I finished it, I, I finished it within two days. Great read. I actually, I really recommend it to you. It's, I don't know, you can relate it, you know, if you're, if you're hopelessly in love, if you're hopeless, no, if you're a hopeless romantic. It's about a this girl sort of from Mary Sue. Her name's Bella Swan, and she just moved to Fort Washington. And she met this really Adonis-type guy, Edward Cullen, and turns out he's a vampire. And there is a resident family, and you know it all starts. And there, and it's a really sweet story, but just sweet actually. I'm waiting for new moon and eclipse to come. There's some really nice, really excellent musicians on YouTube. There's, um, there's Drummer Boy 1290. I like his covers of Wait for You and Gifts and Curses. And then there's, um, a few more of the drummer balls on top of my list. Okay. I actually miss my guitar. And I'm starting to think about learning drums. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's sad that I don't have my own computer yet. I'm just using mom's old computer in the office. And yeah, I guess that's not working for me. I miss Photoshop, I miss Audition, I miss Vegas, I miss all the very wonderful programs in my computer. All my files, all my music, all my photos, everything. It's, it's hard, you know, starting over from scratch. I can't wait to get home and steal my hard drive and my CDs, all my manga was there. You know, I miss reading manga. If I forget my Japanese, who will I like? I miss my DVDs too. You know, I just bought one that has a notebook, if only Wimbledon. And what else? What did it have? It had a lot of really wonderful movies that I wanted to watch. It's just a few weeks old. And then there was the one with the Korean movies, but I don't have it. It's not in my house because I lent it to someone from my own name. He probably knows him, but I don't know if he's even watching this video. So I miss my computer and my movies and my clothes. I've got so little clothes here, it's just not enough. You know, I have to recycle every week. It's like, I don't know. I'm just not used to not having a wide variety of clothing. I have four pairs of pants 
and there are like seven days in a week and in those seven days I'm lucky to even have a day of rest you know when we don't go walking around all over California so sometimes I have to set off the skirts but that's not a very good idea because it's really cold here like I don't know 23 degrees or something I haven't eaten that much but people have been telling me that I've fattened up a bit I don't know you see in here the the fridge is stuffed with frozen food you know you just pop them into the microwave for a minute and instant meal it's like that it's not like in the Philippines where you have to slice and dice and mince and wash and boil and whatever cook food before you can eat them and that usually takes an hour or two or more but here it just it takes a minute you know frozen you put it in the microwave and voila it's there did I gain weight? I mean did I really gain weight? see that for myself because you know I see myself every day and I don't see changes as much as people haven't seen me do you know anyway good news my green card arrived mom didn't tell me right away but it did arrive and she asked me when I'll be going back to the Philippines that I um, return by the first week is impossible because you know that December first week of December Usually all of December is packed, you know, with holiday people going in and out of the country. And I think I'm just going to have to settle for late November or next week around that, around those dates. So expect me there. As soon as I get home, I'm probably going to stay for like a month or two. I don't know. When I told mom that I wanted to stay in the Philippines more for three months, you know, she, she looked at me crazy like, three months? And, you know, I'd rather not argue. Did I get the eye cross out of my eyes? Oh there. Should have checked the mirror first. But seeing as I don't have a mirror in my room, then that's just that. Anyway, my room's not that much furnished yet, so, um, you know, we just have to set off all the rooms, all the mirrors. Hi, may, may I speak with Stephen? Uh, hi, I'm calling from Ask Me about hospital care in your community. There is, sorry, thank you. I, I just, yeah, so can we call you back? And I just, I just, yeah, they'll tell us when I'm done. Yeah, 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 I'm